Hello, welcome back to another Blender Monk tutorial where we are going to model this simple tessellated dome. I'm not sure it is actually a tessellated structure in terms of the form, but that's just how I'm going to call it. What we are going to do now is that we are going to add a UV sphere and we're going to increase the segments let's say 220 that is sufficiently enough let's say 60 so you can see well actually we can do more it actually does not matter because we shouldn't go to extremes but we can add a quite a bunch that we have a high density uh, sphere what we are going to do now is we are going to delete a certain button part of your own choosing I will choose this not in the middle because I want to have it a bit more spherical, a bit more extendedly spherical, like this, let's say, or even a little bit more, yeah? Let's do a little bit more. Here you see. And what I want to do, I want to make sure the origin of the object is on the bottom. So I'm going to select this edge loop and cursor to select it, then go back into object mode and set origin to 3d cursor so now you see the origin of the object has changed to the 3d cursor and now I'm going to change the 3d cursor to the world origin and then snap the selection to cursor and now it is nicely in the center so what I'm going to do now is go to the modifier top, modifier top, and I'm gonna put a decimate modifier on this object. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, toggle X-ray off so we can see the evolution of it. So in the decimate modifier, we're going to choose triangulate. Don't mind my accent. It happens when I'm nervous. And then we are going to decrease the ratio. Uh, ratio. So you can always see it changing. You can see it in real life. Real time. You can see it changing. In shapes. And you can also see the face count. In my demo I have it around 500. Yes. So we can go like. Okay. 500. 501, that's exactly what I had, yes? Exactamento. Alright. So, and then we're going to apply it. And here you see, we got our nicely tessellated dome. Very pretty, I would say, yes? Now, what I sometimes like to do is kind of modify, modify it a bit. So, that uh, I want to delete this one dissolve vertices and maybe like you can kind of mess around it after you know make it to your liking if you think think certain corners are too sharp like this one is pretty sharp but i think it's okay you know after all it's a quick tutorial not the 30 minute shit i did last time that was real shit uh here I want to make sure this is one line because you see here it's not exactly on the single line so what we do if we want it on the single line of the origin what we do is change the transform pivot point to 3d cursor and then press scale and then on the z axis and then zero then you see it aligns everything nicely to the 3d cursor it is so nice okay so <laughs> What I'd like to do is just kind of copy and make a reserve. So this is this is like the starter point. But here we can see is what we do. We select everything and go to face select mode. 
and inset faces as individuals and let's say we do one centimeter yes let's do one centimeter you can see maybe it's a bit big but let's do it for this extra season huh? exercise <coughs> tutorial thingy we can delete the faces and then add a solidify modifier and here you can do, 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 do how you like let's say something like this yes <laughs> very nice mm -hmm. and i suppose we can apply it and we can actually use this one that we that we uh that we set aside copy it again and move it back and also put a solidify modifier but uncheck fill rim even thickness and maybe do a, a thing like here you can see the second one yeah let's say like this would be nice and then we're just going to apply it go into edit mode and delete the top one you see and here you see we have our dome we can add now here another solidify modifier going to the other side yes even thickness we can keep this one on it yes now we're just going to create a quick floor just for rendering purposes so we can we can hide this and then we can kind of play with the materials like I'm going to um, rendered view I added before an HDRI that I downloaded from Polyhaven there for free I think most people know Polyhaven I can put a link of that Polyhaven in the description I also have Sanctus library so what I do is like uh, let's say I go to glass and I will apply a gloss material so we have a glass material and for here I just quickly do a nice metallic oh see this kind of in the way but no for you you don't see that not my recording thingy it's in the way you are in the way so here you see you can um, create a nice glass tessellated dome uh, for your project quite fast actually and now the final file that was in the beginning animation that you see is on available on my patreon account yes for free if you subscribe for money <laughs> you, you get the logic yes i don't but maybe you see it i don't know I mean that file is a bit more complex because it has uh, a more complex um, system of uh, window framing which I think I will uh, make a, also a tutorial of but um, because it has a, a tricky selection process so it would be quite useful if I make a tutorial for that but I want to make it a tutorial um, a bit longer and probably multi parts in where I show how to model um, this kind of fancy spherical conjoined spherical Amazon headquarters like you see in the picture now yes uh, I think that will be a good future project it's very appealing kind of architectural structure I should say yes okay I want to thank you for watching and just check out my patreon uh, they're very cute robots i believe and uh, yes more tutorials will come in the future and asset i'm very asset based i also put a link in my uh, sketchfab so you can check out some of my models in you know the virtual environment i put in a link as well for my blender market products that i have you know 
as a Patreon member you get discounts on those products as well. So quite appealing, you know, enterprise I got going on, if I so may say so myself. You might not think so, but okay, I'm just gonna stop talking now, because uh, I'm sure, I don't know, maybe you're hungry. I'm hungry now, yes, it's time to eat. Okay, bye-bye.